guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I am so excited. We are gonna be taking this popcorn and we're gonna be making some old-fashioned pink popcorn. This recipe is just so easy. I had to share it with you guys because not only is it just so much fun to eat, but it also takes you back to the good old days. You know when you used to go to the carnival and just ride all those roller coasters and eat all that fun fair food and it was so much fun. What I'm doing now is taking about a tablespoon of coconut oil and I'm gonna put it into this big old pot. You wanna make sure to work with just like a really big pot because this popcorn, if you guys have never made popcorn from scratch just over the stove top, it's actually, not only is it a lot of fun to make, but you need a lot of space because it pops up really fast and a lot. So this is about six ounces of popcorn. I'm gonna go a little bit over just cause you know how much I love to snack at the end of the day. You know, when you're watching your show, it is the best to have movie time with popcorn every night. <laughs> So this is on like a medium high heat and it's getting nice and hot. The kernels are gonna heat up and start popping. Now that the popcorn is nice and freshly made, you're just gonna put this all out onto a little baking sheet. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead now and make that pink candy coating that goes on the popcorn. So you're just gonna start off by taking two thirds cups of milk and we're gonna put this into, you want like a nice big pot with a heavy bottom. Cause we're making candy here. We're gonna be working with our thermometer. So you know that's gonna get hot when the thermometer comes out. So just make sure that it's nice and big. You need some corn syrup, but it's only gonna be one tablespoon. And I think this corn syrup is gonna be like the, it's gonna make this, you know how when, car, when candy hardens, it like creates that shell? That's why you need that one tablespoon. You're gonna need some vanilla, but we're gonna add this to the end, at the end. <coughs> And then lastly, you're just gonna need like an eighth teaspoon of salt. So go ahead and turn this on and give it a little mix. Try to not bring it to the outside walls of the pan. Try to keep it all like at the bottom level. All right guys, so once your mixture starts boiling, be sure to keep mixing it, but we're gonna put our thermometer inside. This thermometer needs to reach 240. Okay, so as you can see, there is a lot of bubbles here. It looks like some of the moisture is just cooked out. If you don't have a thermometer, you want this, once it starts boiling and becoming like all bubbly like this, you want it to go for at least 10 minutes so some of the moisture comes out. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's a little bit tan color. So if you don't have a thermometer, you could still do this. Just keep an eye, you want it to be a little bit thick like this and a little bit colored. So at this point, I'm gonna turn off my heat. Okay, and look at our mixture, it is insane. It's still bubbling even though the heat is off. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is just clear vanilla. And we're gonna add some food coloring, of course. Isn't that the purpose of this whole recipe? <laughs> the pink food coloring. Look at this color. Oh my gosh, hot pink. Now this, if you did not know already, is my favorite color. This would make the perfect Valentine's Day snack. Drizzle it all over the popcorn. Hey. 
And here we go, guys. All of our popcorn is ready. I mean, look at that. Wow, oh my gosh, I literally almost dropped it. <gasps> oh my gosh. This, in my opinion, is like the best Valentine's present. You know how people always give away like candies and cupcakes? In my opinion, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Whoa, that is so chewy and delicious. Mmm, it's slightly salty and sweet. It's not too sweet. From the looks of it, this looks like it would be super sweet, but it's not. It kind of reminds me of kettle corn. Now, if you guys tried this recipe out, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below, and as usual, stay tuned for more quick and easy recipes, all of them always with a unique twist.